What's up everybody? So today we're going to be doing something a little different. As you can see, there's no lake around me. Nope, no lake. We're actually, that's actually a trout stream right there. That's right, we're going to be doing some trout fishing. I'm Davis, this is the Flop and Crappie channel, and today we're actually going to be doing a challenge and we're combining it with a piece of technology that I've actually used in the past. Now this piece of technology is called Fish Brain. It's an app that actually allows fishermen to both view other people's catches and share your catch. Um, you can post pictures, you, what you were using, bait you were using, time of day, all, all different stuff. I'm going to show you that in just a second here. But the challenge today, there are three different types of trout in this stream. There's rainbows, there's browns, and there's brook trout. So the challenge today is going to be catching each one of those species and posting it on the Fish Brain app. I'm going to walk you through the kind of a cool setup of how I actually found this spot on the Fish Brain app. And I'm going to show you what lures that have worked out for other people on this exact spot. Also, some other people have posted pictures of fish they've caught on this spot. So I'm going to show you that as well right now. All right, so let me show you a little bit about this app. Here's the home page, and you can see a bunch of different fishermen posting pictures and articles. Actually, Scott Martin just posted something this morning. I read some bass fishing stuff. Ooh, that's a, that's a nice pumpkin seed there. Just posted a couple crappie fishing videos. You can follow me at Floppin' Crappie on here. Um, but here's how you find places to fish. You're going to go tap the map button, which is the second one on the top from the left gonna bring up your map view now here's where I am and as you can see these wave things these are actually people posted pictures you can kind of swipe through them here so there's it looks like a brown trout fly fisherman and I think this is a brook trout here yep a little brookie we got any rainbows Let's see this guy's got a bunch of them and those look like they're all, oh yeah, they're all all brown trout, unfortunately. So rainbow might be tough, but brookies and browns are definitely doable. This is actually all these postings, these little green dots. Those are actually fish catches from other fishermen. And you can click on those to kind of see what they caught, what baits they were using. I'm using a spinning reel setup, so I'm going to be using some Panther Martins, some inline spinners. I got some small floating Rapalas and some spoons. But this map function, look at all these places that you can fish. That if people have posted fish, pictures, what they're using, time of day, how they're catching them. So that's how you use this map function. All right, so the other function, if you don't know what to use, there's this thing called top baits right here. You can click that, and it's just going to show you the top baits in that area. So it looks like a lot of people are using live bait. And it looks like there's some spoons going on, some smaller spoons. I'm actually going to be using Panther Martins. I'm actually surprised they're not listed in here. The other cool thing about this is there's, there's a forecast feature. It's going to show you the weather forecast. And it's going to show you both good and bad times to fish throughout the day. So here's weather forecast. A bunch of different species. Showing you best times for them. So let's uh, find trout. Brown trout, here we go. So right now it says five o'clock up here by my thumb. And I can scroll over. So this is 8 p.m. And it looks like one of the best times is right at dark there. Actually, 6 p.m. is a good time. Kind of dips a little bit. And then picks back up right at dark, eight, eight, nine o'clock. Are we? So let's get these waders on. Let's get in the stream over here. Let's try to catch all three species. Rainbow trout, I think, is going to be tough to do. I, brown trout and brook trout are definitely doable. Um, and as soon as I catch a fish, I'm going to show you another cool feature on this app. Posting a picture, kind of writing out what you caught it on, what the conditions were. I'm going to go down, walk some deer paths, and uh, try to make my way through this mess. Time lapse engage in three, two, one. Well, time to find out if these things have any leaks. This is my first time trout fishing this year. So 
So far so good. Water's cold though. All right, here we go. We are at the spot in the river. We're gonna start working. I'm gonna start my working my way upstream. Ooh, it's a little hot in these waders. That was about a, as easily a three quarter mile walk. Ah, dang. Please don't be nettles again. It's the second time, dude. 50, 55s, it's probably upper 50s, maybe low 60s. Thank goodness for cold water. All right, fish through the pain. Fish through the pain. Yeah, that's, those are definitely nettles. Okay, so here we go, here's our setup. It's a one 16th ounce brook trout pattern, Panther Martin, and then I have a five and a half foot, this is actually a dock shooting rod, but if you are a trout fisherman and you're looking for something that is has a sensitive, sense enough tip, but also a lot of backbone, this is meant to haul in some big crappie. Uh, ACC crappie sticks, dock shooting rod, highly recommend it, especially, I mean, if you look at the stream here, it's no, no wider than an actual road, uh, a county road. And there's a lot of overhang, tight cover, five and a half foot rod, ideal. It is ideal for a situation like this, so highly recommend it. Yeah, I think it's time to switch up baits. All right, so that app did say, so Fish Brain app did say, or the people posted that they were catching them on spoons. So, I got a couple spoons right here. All right, got the spoon all tied on. Let's see if we can actually catch a fish here. I know there's a trout in there, so I'm gonna change up lures here. Back to the Panther Martin. I'm gonna guess I'm gonna go with black. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna guess it. Easy. All right, I'm going with the black Panther Martin. It's got a gold underbelly for the blade. So I'm hoping black might be the color. This is a little bit heavier too. So I, I can reel it a little bit faster. Oh, there's a fish. Yep, about time. About time. Finally, I can mark something here. Uh, I gotta find a shoreline where I can actually do this. All right, here we go. I'm gonna show you how to use this app real quick. All right, here we go. Open up your fish brain app. right here all right so and then you click log catch right there and hit the photo button then you're gonna take a photo right here boom whoops there we go now you're gonna hit okay this looks like a brown trout Weight, I don't know. Length, I'm gonna guess, I'm gonna guess about 12 inches. And then you're gonna hit next. Bait, Let's see if they got Panther Martin here. You can go through the whole list of baits. I'm gonna go categories. Oops, you know what, I'm gonna let him go. All right, we're gonna let this guy go now. Oh, there he goes. So you can now you can select a bait. And I'm going to go spinners. Let's see here. Panther Martin is what I'm looking for. Here we go. Panther Martin right there. Boom. This guy right here spotted. Panther Martin spotted. Done. And it was the black one. Got a casting. And catch and release, check. And it gives an option. So this is the cool option. Select public, competitor, or private. 
Private is completely hidden, hide the exact location and hide your fishing location. Competitive is you're hiding the exact location but you're showing that you caught it on this stream. But I'm gonna keep it as public just so uh, you can check it out. You can follow me at Flop and Crappie on this app. I'm gonna keep it as public. And I'm gonna hit the check mark. Your catch is uploading right there. 12 inch brown trout, flop and crappie. And it shows the uh, the lure that I caught it on. And if you hit the info button, it's 12 inch catch and release casting. You can also select weather conditions um, if you want to in input anything like that. But that's how you log a catch. You can either do it the public way, like I did it so everybody can see it, or if you just want to store your information so it's in your log book within this app, also, it gives you this option. It's kind of like, kind of a little bit like Instagram here. It gives you an option to either like the photo or you can comment on it. I'm not gonna put any comments on it. It's a pretty big hole here. Come on, be a big fish in it. Oh, there he is. There he is, yes. It's not a big fish, but it is a fish. I'm actually gonna keep the first one I wanted to catch and release. And the um, stream limits, five, five fish under 12. All right, so there's fish number one. I can keep five, five fish under 12 inches, under 12. So I, see this is, this is the clay ledge. See this foot is three feet down. This foot is four inches down. Is that clay ledge? For these fish right here, now you can see it really well. There's that clay ledge and it gets undercut by the current and they just sit in there. I'm guessing that where, that's where that first fish was or that second fish I caught. All right guys, I just wanted to give a quick update. Caught two fish so far. Here's, here's the second one. Little brown trout. That's only an eight inch brown trout. On this body of water, I can keep five under 12, okay? Anything over 12, I have to let go. The first fish I caught was 12, about 12 inches. I let that one go. All right, we are gonna finish walking up this stream right here. Hopefully, I, got, I, can, I can keep four more. So hopefully, I want probably two more for a solid meal. That's what I want. Two more, log them on the Fish Brain app. If I get some bigger ones, release those, but I'll definitely be posting the pictures on there. Probably only got like less than an hour left. Okay, so we're gonna go. I'm gonna put you away. Don't get wet, because this is, you are very expensive. Oh, there's a fish, there we go. There we go. What we got here? Another little brown. Let's measure him up. All right, it's getting getting pretty dark. I got a storm coming in back there. Uh, two fish, two fish today. These two guys, uh, seven and eight inch trout. I know some of you are probably gonna say, well, why did you even keep the seven and eight inch trout? I'm gonna show you a sign here. So, it says bag limit, five trout in total, all trout must be less than 12. So these 12 inch trout are considered to be the prime breeding stock. Um, so that's why regulations like that one um, exist because they wanna keep the 12 inch plus trout in these trout streams to make sure that it can, it, well, one, they wanna make sure that it can maintain a sustainable population. And two, they wanna make sure that these trout classes keep growing bigger and bigger. So that's why signs like that or regulations like that exist. I, I realize they're tiny fish, but it'll taste good with some Tabasco sauce. All right, you can find pictures of both those fish on the Fish Brain app. So go ahead, click the link, the first line. It's gonna be a link to the Fish Brain app. You can follow me at Flopping Crappie. I know I've said it like three times already, but go ahead, follow me on Flopping Crappie. 
posted some trout picks. I'm going to post some crappie fishing picks over the next week as I get out on the water with my boat. If you guys like the trout fishing video and you want to see more other species other than crappie, be sure to like this video. Comment below what species you want me to chase, okay? That's what I want to know. If you're not a subscriber, bottom right hand corner of the screen there's a red subscribe button. Click that and then be sure to click that bell. That bell notifies you every time I post a video. You got to click the bell to get notified. Also, at the end of the video, you'll see my face holding a crappie. You can click on that as well to subscribe. Click the bell again. Okay, we'll see you next time. I gotta get out of here. This storm is coming in. I got my fish. I'm gonna go put them on the cutting board and then the frying pan. We'll see ya.